Why, hello everybody! My name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're on the 37th or 36th episode. I can't actually remember at this point. That's how long this series has been. Can't even remember what number we're on. But guys, welcome back to another episode. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, my friends, we're going to be doing two major things. One of which is going to be creating yet another biome. It's going to very simply be a surface mushroom biome because we don't have one yet. And in my opinion, the truffle is a pretty valuable uh, NPC to have. So the area in which we're going to do this is in this little section here. We've got ourselves a bit of a flat grass biome here. We can convert that pretty easily. The bad news is I don't actually have any mushroom seeds, to my knowledge, anyway. I've been uh, looking around in the various chests I've got going on here, but I can't seem to find any. It is very strange. But anyways, guys, in the meantime, what I'd also like to do is make the destroyer emblem. There's a very good reason for that in that uh, it's just a good all-round accessory to have, isn't it? Uh, so there we go. There's the Avenger emblem. And ladies and gentlemen, there is the destroyer emblem. As you can see, 10% increased overall damage and 8% increased crit chance. Now, if we could get either lucky or menacing on this, then I would be... Well... Um, hmm. Terraria, that is what you call giving me a bit of a kick in the teeth, because warning is very nice, but in order to get the maximum effectiveness out of this accessory, in my opinion, you need to either have menacing, which gives you 4% further increased damage, or lucky, which gives you 4% increased further crit chance. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it, Goblin Tinker. I mean, you know, it's not quite what I was looking for, but warding is always nice to have, you know what I'm saying? I'm never going to complain about it. No, 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 no. Right, so the other thing I wanted to do, aside from going ahead and making a mushroom biome, is actually to try and defeat Duke Fishron. The big old Duke. The Duke of Dukes. That freaking Duke butthead. Right, I think the logical solution might be to go ahead and do it over the left-hand side of the map, considering that the mushroom biomes, for the most part, seem to be on the left-hand side of the map as well, right? So, statistically speaking, we're going to be getting ourselves uh, the truffle worms all over there, right? So, yeah. So, we've got the nail gun, we've got the yo-yo doing 166 melee damage. Now, of course, combine that with, like, a wrath or rage potion, we're going to be doing a pretty serious amount of damage. It would be absolutely fantastic. Now, let's just head over here real quick. Can we make any of those things? Uh, life force, Heart reach is always nice, but uh, sadly no sign of the other thing. So there's the endurance. Uh, what else have we got? Calming. Nah. Iron skin. Yep. Life force. Yep. Uh, water walking would probably be kind of useful. Uh, that's gills. I want water walking. Flipper potion. Nope. Featherfall potion. Water walking. There it is. How did I not see that? I'm such an idiot. Right. Thorns potion. Archery. Eh. Nah. Gills Potion, Swiftness Potion might be useful, Shine, and Heart Reach. There we go. Sort of eight quintessential buffs. Right, now then, uh, what I would also like to do is I'd like to grab out some uh, little blocks right here because we're going to make ourselves a very temporary uh, little base down in the jungle so we can get, not in the jungle, in the underground mushroom biome so we can at least get the dryer to sell the mushroom seeds, right? So in my opinion, that just makes sense. So I need a nice block. Maybe we use the obsidian bricks because why not? And do we have any kind of dark background walls. Yep, there we go. Granite wall with some glass. And you know what? I'm actually kind of all right with that. That seems like a pretty nice little uh, set of stuff. Yes. Okay, guys. So we are heading down into the underground mushroom biome. Let's do it. We not quite what we are, you know, intending on doing, but can we get it? What? Huh? I was literally on him. How does that work? I was literally on the truffle worm and it did not pick up. Um, okay. I'm calling bullcrap on that one, my friends. I'm calling bullcrap on that one. No, 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 no. That ain't cool, boo-boo. Alrighty, guys. Truffle worm is just on my right-hand side over there. Come on, let me get it this time. Let me get it this time. Yeah, boy. I got you. I got you, sucker. No, uh, uh, uh. You ain't escaping me. What? Warning? Oh! Hell's blazes. Okay. Why does it say warning? That's very interesting. My fishing information says warning. I wonder what that means. I swear I've never seen that before. Huh. I am actually very interested in knowing what that is. So if you guys actually know 
then uh, let me know in the comments area because f for once I don't actually know. I'm completely blind on that. Why does it say warning? I'm very confused. But anyways, all is looking well, my friends. We've got ourselves a uh, truffle worm now. And uh, not only that, I've also gone ahead and finished the little NPC house for the Dryad, who sadly won't be moving in until either it rains or we get to 7.30 p.m. And then, yeah, she'll move in here. And then we'll be having a rocking good time. You know how it goes, my friends. You do. You know how it goes. So, uh, yeah, guys. I mean, I guess in the meantime, maybe we can just have a bit of a roam around, see if we can't find ourselves some of those beautiful truffle worms. I mean, in the meantime, we are inadvertently getting ourselves a ton of souls of light, right? So, that's kind of cool. Got ourselves three mushroom grass seeds as well. Yeah, looking pretty good. All right, let's keep going, my friends. Well, hello there, naturally spawned hallowed mimic. How you doing there, Brosephina? Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. These things still do a fair amount of damage. Uh, that is a day to the storm, bro. Oh, how I would have loved that a lot earlier in the series. I mean, we did get it earlier in the series. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, we're looking pretty good. I'll take the mana potions. They're pretty nice. I don't mind that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the blood moon is rising. I wonder whether that is why the warning thing came up. Or whether it's because we're, like, near the lava or something. I still have no idea. Hmm. Well, the good news is I'm actually up to three truffle worms now, guys. We are slowly but surely getting there. And not only that, but I can see the dryad symbol up there. So... That means she's up there, which is fan freaking fantastic. Alright, so what that means is I can get over there and buy a ton of mushroom grass seeds. Yeah, boy. Alright, let's buy a ton of these. Uh, let's just go for a stack. I feel like that'd be a good enough amount. And then, uh, yeah, in fact, you know, I'm going to buy another stack. Sod it. Let's do it. Uh, so, yeah, I just sold her a whole bunch back to her and then I bought them back again. Um, yeah, go figure. Anyways, guys, we're looking good. We've got the truffle worms. We've got the various other bits and bobs. And honestly, guys, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty darn good. So, yeah, guys, let's get back to the surface. And, well, you guys probably know what's going to happen. All we're going to do is place down some, uh, some mud and then place down some mushroom grass. And honestly, I mean, there's not really too much to it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get it done. And we'll move on to Duke Fish One. The big Duke himself. The Duke of Dukes. The Duke of Butt. Yeah, that's him. Duke of Butt. Yeah. Hey, guys. So from that, we've got the Moon Charm. So if we had ourselves a Moonstone, Sunstone, Moon Charm, and I believe the... Was it Neptune Shell? We should be able to get ourselves a pretty good super accessory. In fact, we do have the freaking Neptune Shell, right? So I should be able to go ahead and uh, make an accessory here. Uh, where are we looking? We are looking for the shell. There's the shell. And I should be able to combine those two together, right? Good day, she says. There's a lot of you. I don't appreciate you. I really don't. Freaking blood moons. What a bunch of jerks. Well, there's the moon charm. Turns the holder into a werewolf at night and merfolk when entering water. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, my gosh. Come on, man. Get out of here. Wait, can I skip this? Yeah, I can, boy. I don't need anything else on this. Go get out of here, you bunch of pansy buttheads. Yeah. That's right. Be gone, blood moon. Be gone. Oh, wow, Terraria, what a great time to throw the slime rain at me, like, really late on into the game, like, uh, I mean, I don't know, I've got a pretty industrial am amount of freaking gel at this point, I mean, look at that, all of this is now in addition to the full stack I already have, oh, jeez, Terraria, well, I mean, I guess I'm gonna get some free money out of this, it's not gonna be a lot, but it's gonna be free money, and you know what I say, if it's for free, it's for me. So I'll take it. Oh, yeah. King Slime has awoken. Oh, my goodness me. Whatever are we going to do? Oh, that's right. Kill him. There we go. Easy as pie. Thank you. Much appreciated. I mean, I'm going to go coin out of here. <laughs> I'm a rich person, man. I'm so happy. So you know what I've been learning a lot about in the Calamity mod is the idea of planetoids. And you know what? I think I'm going to draw a little bit of inspiration from that and actually make a little sort of planetoid cluster going on here. I think it could look pretty cool. Uh, I mean, uh, on the basis that I don't get trapped inside it, that is. Uh, that's rather embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I've got trapped inside my own planetoid. Right, well, uh, yeah, the reason I'm doing this is because we need some more areas in order for this biome to, like, officially be classed as a mushroom biome, right? So I'm thinking that maybe some little random floating planetoids could look pretty 
cool. So, yeah, I mean, this should be pretty simple, to be honest with you. All i got to do... Yeah, there you go. As you can see, it has just been officially classified as a mushroom biome. Yeah, the background's changing. All is well. Everything is looking fan freaking tastic. Right, now, if I can get some, like, plants up there, I think we're going to be shouting. I think we're going to be good, man. Heck, yeah. All right, let's get some more planetoids. Hey guys, check it out. I decided to make one of the planetoids into a little base for the dryad so I can buy more freaking seeds because I've run out of them like entirely. So uh, yeah, that was the reason I did that. I mean, obviously the dryad is probably going to be the NPC that moves most around the world because she sells different seeds depending on the biome she's in, right? So I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. So here we go. We've got like a little bit of a an alien planetoid here. Look, the dryad's even... Oh my goodness me. The dryad's even got a little bit of a... Uh, little bit of a peep out platform as well. I mean, uh, you know, she is living in some serious luxury, guys. She's got some serious luxury in her life. Yeah, get out of here, you bunch of butts. Yeah. Blood moon, schmud moon. You can't do anything against me. Do you not know who I am, sir? Hmm? Get out of here. I mean, this is actually the second Blood Moon in a row. Sadly, I can't go ahead and skip this one. Um, so, that's sad. But anyways, we're looking good, guys. Let's keep going. <laughs> hey, the truffle arrived pretty much immediately as I finished his little base up here. Oh, mate, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so yeah, in the meantime, I'm just in the process of uh, mushroom-ifying uh, this place. So, uh, yeah, we've got plenty of seeds left. A uh, little bit right there. And yeah, we'll just about be done with this little custom biome. The second custom biome we've made in this particular series. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. There he is, of course. Hey, how you doing there, buddy? Now, of course, the auto hammer would be the thing we want to get, but sadly, I don't have the money to do so. We do have the hammer. We've also got the mushroom spear, which, as far as I remember, is actually a pretty good spear because it shoots out mushrooms. So that's pretty awesome. Summons a baby truffle for 45 gold. Now, eventually, when we start farming out the, you know, the pumpkin moon for, like, really quite serious amounts of money, then, yeah, absolutely, what we're going to do is go ahead and farm the absolute heck out of that. Get the money, buy all the things. It's going to be a great time, my friends. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so the bad news is he won't move in because, you know, we, uh, we built it during the daytime. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to do one more little mini planetoid. I'm thinking, like, here or something. Thing. Just a small one, I think, for this one. Uh, doesn't need to be anything too extravagant. And then we'll pretty much call this place finished. And yeah, we've got ourselves another custom biome under wraps. Yeah, I wasn't even intending on having this be such a massively custom biome. But uh, you know how it goes with me, my friends. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll love to see it, guys. Right, do we have any spare seeds left? No, I don't, but I can buy some. All right, cool. Let's, let's just... Let's finish this. Let's go to the freaking ocean. Let's do this thing. Because honestly, I spent a lot longer than I probably should have on this freaking biome. So, yeah. I mean, it's not too bad, right? Because, you know, we've got some good looking things going on. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, check out this literal fire arena. This is a beautiful arena, my friends. I gave it a little bit of gap between this and the actual uh, settlement itself. You know, the beach town. I'm hoping that we're far enough away to the point where the NPCs shouldn't get affected. Um, well, you know what to say. Famous last words. So, ladies and gentlemen, all we can do is a go for it. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's buff ourselves up right now. And, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this thing. So, staff of the Frost Tiger, have a little bit of you. And, whee! Off we go. Okay, this is where things get interesting. Can we do this with a yo-yo? That is the real question, isn't it? 43,000 health. I mean, the yo-yo seems to be stretching just about 37,000 health. Uh, we are losing a pretty good amount of health here. Uh, hmm. I completely forgot about the golden shower, I'll be honest with you guys. The only thing is when he gets the second stage, that's when he gets seriously, seriously dangerous. All right. I'm not entirely sure how to, uh, how to go about this. I mean, maybe. All right. In second stage he goes. Okay, so the good news is we don't have to deal with the uh, really annoying third stage with the whole teleporting shaboodle. We're actually not too bad on that front. All we've got to do is slowly dwindle down his health and we should be just about all right. Well, there's all of the freaking, freaking shark dudes. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. I feel like once we get the flare on, we're going to be just a little bit better to go. You know what I'm saying? 
Hmm. So I've just come to the realization that actually my arena is pretty, uh, is pretty darn small. In three seconds. Ooh, things are getting a little bit tasty, my friends. All right, there we go. Oh no, I got stuck on something. Oh, that, oh, that's just mean. That is. You can't do that to me. Ten thousand health. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. God, hell's blazes. Ah. Oh. My arena's not big enough, and if I go far enough to the left, all of my NPCs are just gonna flat out die. Uh, I mean, I could just do it again. I don't feel like melee is the way to go with this. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. The nail gun is pretty good. Tempted to go for that. Maybe we put the uh, destroyer emblem on. Hmm, what do you guys think? Should we try the old ranger loadout? I mean, I'm kind of down to give it a go. Well, they're saying that spectre armor. I don't know, man. I don't even know. Star cloak. Hmm. Charm of myths. I don't really know. Let's give this a go and uh, we'll just see how we roll, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I feel like I've got a pretty good little thing going on here. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to give this thing another go. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, baby. We've got two more tries. I'm hoping we'll be able to do this thing. And there we go. Number two, we have this thing here this time. Damage, please. Thank you. Gotta love the damage. Lots and lots of damage. You gotta love it. Oh, look at that. We're actually doing a pretty significant amount of damage here. Wow. The thing is, we haven't got ourselves lightning boots, so we're not able to actually run along the floor, which can prove to be a little bit of a pain. Oh, my word. Talking of pain. Those nados, man. They're a little bit crazy. Yeah. Okay. Come on, boys. Let's keep it going. Come on. Yeah, he's going to start getting a little bit mad here. Can I actually do this thing? Come on. We're doing a pretty good amount of damage. Our movement is definitely better, I feel. Uh, so that's always nice. Come on. And back and forth. As you do. Come on, buddy. I think we got it this time. Oh, you got to love the nail gun, man. You really do got to love the nail gun. There you go. Hey, Ranger was the way to go. Oh, jeez. Hell's blazes. Oh, my word. Yeah, apparently ranged was the way to go. The question is, where did I... I think it dropped underwater. Oh, my God. We got the freaking tsunami. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, we just got like one of the best drops from freaking Duke Fish One. Amazing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on that successful night time to any episode, guys, thank you so much for watching. Today's comment question of the video comes from Friday Ace and House, who asks, What is your favorite Moon Lord drop? Hmm. You see, for me, it's always been between the Terrarian and the Last Prism. It rather depends on my mood. I mean, most of the time I'll be using the Terrarian because it doesn't absolutely sap mana, but. When you've got the last prism going and you've got the right loadout, that thing can just destroy anything in a matter of milliseconds. Quite literally speaking, milliseconds. So, I think for the pure damage output, it's going to have to be the last prism, guys. It has to be. So, guys, on that note, time to end. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode with the custom biomes and the Duke Fish one, please do be sure to let me know with a like rating. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss some future content, my friends. But that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.